Psalm 2, verses 2 and 3. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. And the psalmist is amazed at the plans of the kings and the rulers of the earth to resist the Lord. And uh, the psalmist can believe that there are people who are so angry against God that they're going to do something to disrupt his plan. And the passage uh, describes their approach in two ways. It says that they set themselves. That means that they come together and position themselves against God. And the second statement says they take counsel, they caucus together, they plan together. So when God has a plan and God is working out his plan, there are power systems. The passage calls them the kings and the rulers. And, and they set themselves, they oppose it, and they counsel together, they caucus together. And they are doing it against the Lord and against the Lord's anointed. So this kind of opposition is first against God. It's not just against the anointed of the Lord or it's just not just against you. It starts because people are angry with God. Who dares he, Jehovah God, to anoint somebody, to bless somebody, to honor somebody? And they are just upset with God. And then they are upset it with the one the Lord has anointed. In the Old Testament, the anointed of the Lord was the high priest or the prophet or the king. And in this passage, the anointed is directly in reference to a king that God has anointed uh, to rule over Israel. So at the time God picks a king and anoints him, whether it's David or some other successor of David, People look on and say, why should God have anointed that one? Probably that is, this one is better, uh, this one is preferred. Who dares he uh, anoint and use somebody? And you know, that spirit is still present now, although we are not talking about kings. But sometimes we look at somebody God has blessed and we wonder, what did God see in him? Uh, why should God have blessed him? Why should God have honored him? And sometimes we think because we hate somebody, God should hate the person. God is not obliged to side with your hatred and with your rage. He does things after the counsel of his own will. So don't be amazed when people of power and influence set themselves against the Lord in our world today. And we've seen a lot of it where people who with great uh, influence in our world, in various spheres of our world, set themselves against God. They become anti-God or anti-Christ. And everything that has the name of God on it or the name of Christ on it, they rise against it, they write against it, they rant against it uh, because they can't stand that God is being promoted. And they can't stand that the people associated with God are doing well. So they set themselves against them and they plot together. And don't be disturbed when you see people simply hate you because you love the Lord. So why are the kings of the earth doing this? Because they want to break the control of the Lord in the life of the world. People oppose God because they don't want to live under God's rules. His commands are too grievous. They don't want his commandments. They don't want to be accountable to God. They don't want to be answerable to God. They want to live their own lives without a supreme being telling them what to do. And that is why the rulers of this world rage against God and against his anointed. And anytime you take God's side, you'll find people rising against you but the lord is our deliverance and he will deliver us let's share a word of prayer together say with me heavenly father i am grateful for your anointing on my life help me to uphold your rule in this world in jesus name amen and amen well the lord rules whether they like it or not i'm pastor Mesa otabel Shalom, peace, and life to you.